Margaret Simons, later this morning. But for now, let's go back to our top story. The IMF chief Dominic Strauss-Kahn has been denied bail in New York after being deemed a flight risk. Now, a French woman has also come forward and alleged that Strauss-Kahn sexually assaulted her almost a decade ago. For more, Australian journalist Alex Parry joins us from Paris via webcam. Alex, uh, uh, great to talk to you again. Uh, tell us, what do we know about this woman that has come forward? Well, Bev, it's no secret that Parisians are busy people, but if you ask them to stop and talk about politics, uh, they have all, all the time in the world. Now, this woman has come forward uh, to say that she is likely to press charges against Dominique Strauss-Kahn. So uh, with this latest allegation, it's not a good look for him. The French people initially, uh, they were dismayed, they were shocked. Uh, they were embarrassed, but they said, look, let's give him a chance. Let's, let's give him decency. Let's see whether how this is going to develop. Now that he's been denied bail, they say it's looking a lot more serious. It's not just a moral issue, uh, how they accept a politician's behaviour, what they'll be allowed to do. It's uh, nationally embarrassing, uh, no matter what um, the outcome, the fact that all of the media is concentrating on this story and it has discredited him uh, to some degree. It's embarrassing for France, it's embarrassing for Europe, and it also uh, puts in jeopardy uh, his chances for the 2012 election. He was a, a front runner against Nicolas Sarkozy. There are, of course, uh, other alternatives, but it, it wipes out uh, a front runner not only uh, because of his reputation, but because of the timing of this case, uh, because candidates here have to register by the end of June or mid-July. Just with the nature of the case in New York, he won't have the chance to do that. So he's out. The French are looking to other alternatives now. Now, this, uh, this young woman that has come forward, do you know which particular case this relates to? There's been some discussion that it might date back to 2002. Or is it also inevitable that more and more of these uh, women might come forward now, given that he has quite an international reputation for being something of a ladies' man and sometimes just pushing the boundaries a little too far? Look, you're right, it does date back to 2002. She's a 31-year-old writer. She has floated this before. But I suppose she was asked uh, after this latest allegation what she intends to do and she's floated the idea that she may uh, press charges. But certainly in the press here, uh, journalists have uh, started to ask themselves, could we have seen this coming? I mean, the people that mingled with Dominic Strauss-Kahn admit he is uh, an exceptional uh, politician, economist, very intelligent, has done uh, great things in the IMF uh, during the political crisis. Um, the headlines is my brilliant career. I mean, he's been working on uh, the Greek uh, possible second uh, bailout of Portugal's rescue package. But they do admit, look, he was um, a bit of a womanizer. It's, they say it's something that they saw, uh, never reported, never talked about. It's kind of swept under the carpet here in France. Um, but they're not um, assuming that he's guilty. They're just saying, look, we could have possibly seen this coming uh, based on his behaviour. Tom, uh, Alex Parry in Paris, thank you very much for your time. Now, the International Criminal Court prosecutor asked judges on Monday to issue arrest warrants for the Libyan leader, Colonel Gaddafi.